Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Translate Manga. This is part two of Fuku o Kiru Nara Konna Funi. If you have not seen part one, or I guess I'm calling it part A, <laughs> uh, watch that video, I guess, because th that'll give a little more context to what we're doing here, because I'm just going to jump right into it. Apologies in advance if you hear random, like, cat slurping noises, yelling, stomping neighbors, or my husband laughing in the next room over. <laughs> I am recording this um, in the evening and it's kind of noisy around, so hopefully uh, there aren't those distracting noises. But if there are, um, yeah, that, that's what it is. Uh, I live in an apartment. Anyway, <laughs> moving on from our last episode. Okay, so we left off on the like second to last panel of page nine, where Tamaki is uh, telling her brother Yusuke um, that it's okay that she doesn't have a date because she's focusing on her uh, studies right now and her hobbies and that um, then later she'll, you know, once she joins the workforce, once she graduates college, she's gonna marry somebody who she respects and she'll leave the apartment and then she won't have to pick up um, her brother's dirty socks ever again. Okay, so the, the very last panel, <laughs> he, there's a sound effect that goes ka. So ka can mean tons of things in sound effectees, but uh, if you look at the little flashing white light behind him, ka in this case kind of means flash. Like, if you imagine this were an anime, it would be like shung or kung, like in the background as he's, as he's saying something, or like a kung sort of sound effect in the background to show that he has a glint in his eye. Um, so, and he's saying, amain da yo, tamaki. So amai, uh, it can mean sweet, but in this case it means like, um, you're naive, or it's like, oh, my sweet summer child. <laughs> it's like, uh, you're, you're so naive, Tamaki. Okay, now next page. Okay, and he continues, Amain da yo, Tamaki, with, Gakusei jidai ni seishun wo ouka deki nakatta yatsu wa shakai ni dete mo onaji nan da yo, ore o miro. And that part's in bold, bigger font. And then Tamaki says, Sungoi settoku ryoku aru n dakara yamete. <laughs> so, he, um, he's saying, Gakusei jidai ni seishun wo, so seishun, it, it literally means like your youth or whatever, but it's, it, it, it means so many things, but it's kind of like um, live life to your fullest, like to make the most out of your like teen and young adult years, basically. And it often implies like romance, basically. So it's like, ni, uh, when you are a student, seishun wo ouka deki nakatta yatsu wa, so ouka dekiru is like to, to be able to enjoy as an experience, um, rejoice. <laughs> So yatsu, um, fellows, people, jerks, bastards, <laughs> yatsu means so many different things, oh my god. So people uh, who cannot uh, enjoy a romantic romance in their youth uh, while they're still in college, in high school, shakani um, detemo, even if, even when they join the workforce, even when they grow up, onaji uh, nandayo, like, they're, they're just gonna stay the same. So it's like, hey, if you can't get a date in high school or college, like, nothing's gonna change when you graduate. <laughs> and then, ore o miro, like, just look at me, <laughs> or exhibit A, me. <laughs> and then, um, Tamaki says in bold text again, sugoi setto kuryoku. So setto kuryoku is like, um, it, it's the power of of convincing, but it's like that is hella convincing. So please stop, <laughs> is basically what she's saying. Okay, let us see how the patrons translated that. And that little exchange should definitely be quippy. Patron A translated that as, "Don't be so naive." Flash. People who never flowered in their school days don't exactly bloom in the real world. Just look at me. And then Tamaki says, "Enough. You're too persuasive." Patron B. Uh, translated the sound effects as glare. Uh, Yusuke, how naive. Students who couldn't enjoy the last of their youth all turn out the same when they get out in the world. Just look at me. Tamaki, please stop. You're sounding too persuasive. Patron C. Yusuke, that's wishful thinking, Tamaki. Glint. Ooh, I like wishful thinking for, for that's naive. It's another way of wording that she's being naive. That's wishful thinking, Tamaki. You know people who don't party in college don't party as adults either. I mean, look at me, Tamaki. You couldn't be more right, but I don't want to hear it. And then patron D. Don't be naive, Tamaki. Glare. If you can't hit all those milestones of youth now, let me tell you, you're shit out of luck once you graduate. Just look at me, Tamaki. You make a horrifyingly compelling argument, okay? I think that's probably my favorite uh, quippy retort 
um, in bold like that and with the with the period at the end, it's it's great. Like it was very easy for me to read that with the correct inflection. You make a horrifyingly compelling argument. Um, yeah, I really like that. Okay, let's let's go over all of these. So um, don't be so naive from patron A versus how naive from patron B. That's wishful thinking, Tamaki, from patron C. I think that's my favorite. Don't be naive, Tamaki. Yeah, that's wishful thinking. I think I really like. I guess part of why I really like that is just as a translator, it, it's translating amai in this context as naive is kind of a default translation. It's, it's what our brains just naturally go to. But there are much more creative ways of wording that um, and ways that fit much better with specific situations. And I think, I think that's wishful thinking, Tamaki, is, is more the vibe here then don't be so naive. Uh, glint, I also like for the sound effect. Glare, it's it's not exactly glare, but it, it is like the flash or the glint in his eye, which could be glaring. So it's not, it's not necessarily wrong from patrons B or D. Patron A, people who never flowered in their school days don't exactly bloom in the real world. Yeah, f flowered in their school days is odd wording, but it kind of works because they then use uh, the verb bloom, that metaphor in the real world for the second part of the sentence. It would have been not as fun or as interesting sounding if patron A had gone, people who never bloom in their school days don't exactly bloom in the real world. I think it would be a little redundant if they use the same word twice. So I think it's nice that they use different uh, metaphors there, flowering and blooming, even though it's, it's the same metaphor, but different words. So it sounds a little more interesting. I like just look at me. Oh, patron B also did just look at me. Yeah, patron B's I think was a little too like, I don't know, textbooky. <laughs> Students who couldn't enjoy the last of their youth all turn out the same when they get out in the world. It's not as as cutting and like I imagine him saying this like I don't know, more grand like just listen to the to the quips. Um, people who never flowered in their school days don't exactly bloom in the real world. Just look at me. You know people who don't party in college don't party as adults either. I mean, look at me. If you can't hit all the milestones of youth now, let me tell you, you're shit out of luck once you graduate. Just look at me. I think those those have, those have capture the vibe a little more. Sungoi setokuryoku arun dakara yamete. So again, like that, that last line is so incredibly quippy. Patron A, enough. You're too persuasive. I kind of like that. Please stop. You're sounding too persuasive. I like please stop. You're sounding too persuasive. Doesn't do it as well for me, but I really like please stop. Um, patron C couldn't be more right, but I don't want to hear it. That's not exactly her tone, I don't think. It's really like if you look at the at the Japanese, the way it's lettered. I imagine in Japanese it's like, Sugoi setokuryoku arun dakara yamete. Like I, I imagine it's kind of in a monotone, like really steady jabber. So for me, the ellipses in there doesn't really capture the vibe. Or, uh, like I said, I think I really like patron D's, you make a horrifyingly compelling argument. <laughs> like, notice how patron D didn't leave, like, yamete, the stop it, um, but they expressed it as a horrifyingly compelling argument, like, therefore the implied subtext is shut up, like, stop making that argument, because it's horrifyingly compelling. Uh, okay, let's move on to the next panel. Uh, Yusuke says, Tsuka, omae no shumi ってなんだそんなもんなったのか Okay, so yeah, I'm realizing, like, I realized after the fact when I gave the notes for um, the first part when she's mentioning, like, I want to focus on my hobbies. And, and I, I told all the patrons who translated it as hobby, which was all of them, like, it should be hobbies. It just sounds really weird to say hobby. But um, here he's bringing it up and, like, what is your hobby? Now, in Japanese, there is no singular or, or plural. So it, it, he's just saying, what are your hobbies in general here? But it could also mean singular hobby. So that's why it kind of works okay in Japanese, but not as well in English. But yeah, tsuka is kind of like, for that matter, <laughs> or that aside, um, like, what even is your hobby? Like, I didn't even know you had any hobbies. Uh, and then she says, sore wa, and then dot, dot, dot. It's like, well, it's uh, dot, dot, dot. And then in small font, she says, fashion. And then he goes, pfft, pfft. <laughs> So that's what the poofu is. Just take out the oo vowels and it's poof, which is basically what it is. It's like he's bursting up about to laugh. And then she screams, So she's slipped into keigo here, the polite speech form. 
Um, she's not being polite. <laughs> she's being kind of sarcastic. It's like, um, I'd rather you not laugh at me, my dear sweet brother. It kind of has that vibe in English. The slipping into Kegel. And then there's that key screech again that she did last time that she was losing her temper and yelling at him. Okay, let's see how patrons translated that. Patron A, what is your hobby anyway? It would be stronger if it was what is your hobby anyway, italicized is. I didn't know you had one. Well, it's fashion. Pfft. Like you're in a place to tease me, grr. Like you're in a place to tease me. Yeah, I mean, that 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 is a roundabout way of saying what she's saying. She's literally saying, like, I, I don't want you to laugh at me. And it's because it's like, if anyone should be laughed at, it is you. So patron A was making a leap and, and still capturing what Tamaki was saying here. It's like, hey, you're, you're one to laugh. <laughs> it's kind of like that, hey, you're one to talk, but it's like, hey, you're one to laugh. So I like that. Like you're in a place to tease me and then grr for a key. Patron B, and since when did you have a hobby? Yeah, I like that. I didn't know you even had one. Yeah, I like that I didn't know you even had one versus I didn't know you had one. I didn't know you even had one makes it sound like more snarky and sarcastic. Tamaki, my hobby is, well, and then small font fashion sound effects. Pff, tamaki, you didn't have to laugh. Yeah, that works too. Again, it the patron A's leap uh, extrapolation from that is correct. Like you're in a place to tease me. Like you didn't have to laugh because I should be laughing at you. Um, but uh, it's also not wrong to translate it as you didn't have to laugh. Patron C. What do you like doing anyway? Do you even have a hobby? Yeah, it's fashion. <laughs> shut up like you're one to talk. Eek, I like that. The shut up like you're one to talk. Shut up is really good. Again, it gets to the spirit of what she's what she's actually saying here. She's literally saying, I don't want to be laughed at by you, my dear brother, in polite Japanese. Uh, but again, she's using the polite form to be very sarcastic. Um, so shut up, like you're one to talk. So I really like that vibe too. Patron D, what is your hobby anyway? Didn't know, didn't know you had any. See, I like how patron D just italicized that is. What is your hobby anyway? Tsuka, like it, it has that vibe. Oh, it's um. I don't know about the exclamation point there. M dash would make more sense or an ellipses. It's dot 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 fashion <laughs> use case. Snark for pfft. Snark works too, because it's kind of like a smirk. And then Tamaki, I don't need you laughing at me, Yusuke. Yeah, that's more literally what it was in Japanese, but it still works. It doesn't sound stilted at all. Like if it were literally translated like, I don't want to be laughed at <laughs> or by you. <laughs> um, I don't need you laughing at me, Yusuke. That sounds much more natural. And then sound effect, grah, for her scream. It's not so much a grah, it's more like a <laughs> But you know, potato, potato. Next page, wow. The dialogue is a lot thinner in these pages, so I'm whizzing through these pages a lot faster this time. Hopefully this video will be shorter than an hour. Okay, Tamaki looks at the clock and says, Ah, mo konna jikan jan. Yoi shi na kya. Watashi kyo tomodachi to nomi da kara. So nomi, this kanji for nomi, like usually I don't see that one, but it's like, it's more specifically drinking booze, drinking sake than the other kanji for nomi. Um, and then Yusuke says, Ore mo yoi suru ka. So Tamaki looks at the clock, ah, mo. So mo is like, ugh, damn it, arg. Konna jikan jan. It's like, oh man, would you look at the time? Ah, it's so late. Yoi shi nakya, I have to get ready. Um, watashi kyo tomodachi to nomi da kara. I'm, I'm drinking with a friend or friends today. And then Yusuke says, oh, guess I'd better get ready too. Patron A. Oh, geez, the time. I have to get ready. I'm going out with friends tonight. I guess I should too. I think I guess I should get ready to would make that clearer. Patron B. Crap, time already? I gotta get ready. Time already? Yeah, I mean, that that's not unnatural. Somebody would say that. It's time already is probably a little better. Me too. Oh, I like me too. Does the trick. <clears throat> you don't have to say fully, I have to get ready to. Just me too. That works. Patron C. Wait, it's 6.30 already? I gotta move. I'm meeting a friend for drinks. Guess I should get ready too. 
So see what patron C was clever. If you look at the clock on the wall, it is 6.30. So yeah, I mean, I frankly think it is a lot more natural. Uh, if I were in Tamaki's situation and I noticed that it was 6.30 by looking at a clock on the wall, who keeps a clock on the wall anymore? Anyway, if I looked at my phone and I saw that it was 6.30, I would say, ah, it's 6.30 already. I wouldn't say, oh, it's so, it's the time already. Like, I would just say it's 6.30. Like I would, or I'd say, oh, it's time. But yeah, like it is a lot more natural, at least in English, you know, to say it's 6.30. Specificity is is often your friend. Like I think just in general specificity tends to make better writing. Um, and yeah, that's something you can totally do here because it is 6.30 on the wall clock. I've got to move. I like I've got to move instead of just I've got to get ready. I've got to move works too. I'm meeting a friend for drinks. We don't know if it's a friend or friends, but you know, what can you do? <laughs> Hopefully you would be able to look later in the episode and see if it was a friend or friends or if it mattered. Um, but yeah, meeting a friend is fine. And then guess I should get ready too. I like that because it captures the vibe. Me too, like while it was nice and concise, it doesn't necessarily capture the vibe. He's more like, if you look at the Japanese, it's very like random, like, ah, well, guess I better get ready too. Um, so the guess I should get ready too, that guess um, gives it the casual vibe we're going for. Uh, patron D, whoa, look at the time. I have to get ready. Yeah, I mean, whoa, look at the time works as well. And, and it is something that we would say, we, it's something more that we would say in movie dialogue or TV dialogue. I think, I really think it is less natural in real life to say, whoa, look at the time. That's something you say when you're like trying to sneak out of, a, of somewhere you don't want to be. Then you usually say, well, would you look at the time? <laughs> and she's not doing that. She genuinely like didn't know what time it was and now noticed, oh my God, I have to get ready to go. Uh, I digress. <laughs> I have to get ready. Um, I'm going drinking with some friends tonight. And then Yusuke, I better get ready too. Yeah, I like guess I better get ready from patron C just because again, it captures the vibe. He's very casual here uh, because of the ka at the end. And like, if you just look at him, the way he's kind of, the huh, way he's looking. Okay, next panel. Tamaki says, Mezurashii jang, yoji. Uh, mezurashi is, is unusual or rare. It's like, whoa, that's, that's new. <laughs> uh, you running an errand? Or it's like, you know, are you buying groceries? <laughs> are you going to 7-Eleven? You know, that, that's kind of what she assumes he's getting ready to do. And then he says, Shogaku no do, uh, do yokai? Ah, uh, I know what that is. It's a reunion, but I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> Thank you, jisho.org. And then kai gi <laughs> with a question mark in the, yeah, dosu kai, that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, so a, it's a reunion basically. Okay, anyway, shogakko no dosu kai no uchi awase nan da to yo. Okay, so um, shogakko, my elementary school, dosu kai, so it's like a, a little reunion, a little meetup with some old friends from elementary school, no uchi awase. Uchiawa a meeting basically, like a planning meeting for his uh, el elementary school reunion. Basically, that's where he's going. She's like, "Oh, well, that's that's unusual for you." We're like, "Oh, look at you. Are you you know are you going to Seven <laughs> Eleven?" He was like running an errand. And he's like, "Ah, oh, just just you know planning a elementary school reunion." And then he's thinking to himself in the next panel, "Ma yoi to itte mo." And then kacha, clicking sound of the door opening uh, behind him. And then next panel, gocha, which is like a rustling sound effect. I mean, look at what he's doing. It's a sound effect for that, basically. He's rummaging around in, you know, on the floor and in boxes for clothes and shoes and stuff. Um, it's like a rustly, rummagey, fabric bunching together kind of noise. <laughs> and then he's continuing his thought from the previous panel, jimoto nakama ni au dake dashi. So it's like, well, you can't exactly call it um, or like calling it getting ready is a bit of a stretch. All I'm doing is meeting, um, with old friends, you know, from, from my hometown, basically. And then the next panel, he's continuing that thought. Shita ji pan ni haki kaereba ikka. So, um, I can just, I can get away with just changing my bottoms to jeans. And his current bottoms are sweats, so you could expand upon that and say, oh, I can just, 
change my sweats to jeans and I'm good. Okay, let's see how the patrons translated that. Okay, patron A. You have plans? That's unusual. And then he says, it's a meeting for class reunion stuff. Well, I say get ready, but kerchak, cluttered. I'm just meeting some old friends. Should be good enough if I change into some jeans. Okay, I like, I say get ready, but I'm just meeting some old friends. And I've mentioned this in previous episodes, but I'll just reiterate it. Whenever there's like, a character is thinking one complete thought that stretched across two panels. You see this, ma, yoi to ittemo, jimoto nakama ni au dake dashi. Those two thoughts go together to form a complete sentence. When you translate that into English, it works so much better if you um, separate those balloons at natural breaking points. And patron A did that here. Um, well, I say get ready, but I'm just meeting some old friends. It's a natural breaking point to put that there. Uh, I like kerchak for kacha because it sounds kind of like the Japanese. Cluttered, I don't know about that. I think it's always better when you can to translate a sound effect as a sound effect and not as an actual word. But it it is cluttered. <laughs> That's with a gocha gocha. It's like it, it's cluttered. So it does work. Let's go on to patron B. You got to get ready too? For what? Now notice how that's not, like in Japanese she's saying mezurashi, like, oh, that's that's a rare thing for you. And patron B did, you gotta get ready too, for what? So I, th I think we need that here. You gotta get ready too. If you italicize, like, you gotta get ready too, or you gotta get ready too, um, without the two, like, you gotta get ready, or you gotta get ready too, I think that would emphasize more like, she's very surprised, like, you don't go out, <laughs> uh, for what? And then he says, my elementary class reunion. And again, it's not for his actual reunion. It's more like to, to meet up to plan his elementary class reunion. And then he says, well, I say get ready. Okay, I like that. I think patron A did exactly the same thing. Yeah, I say get ready, but, um, but the people I'm seeing still live in town. Yeah, I personally prefer um, putting the butt on the second balloon like patron B did. It would have been stronger, I think, if it's, well, I say, get ready, and uh, italicize the say. But I'm still seeing, but the people I'm seeing still live in town, so I can just slip on some jeans. I like that. <laughs> Instead of doing the clunky, I can just change my bottoms to jeans. Just say, so I can just slip on some jeans. I think that's a lot more natural and fewer words, and it still does the trick. All right, patron C. So he previously said, guess I should get ready too, and then she responds, for what? You're going out? Again, this would be stronger if there was an italic. Like, for what? You're going out? Like, if the out were italicized. Just to show that she's, like, very surprised. Like, you never go out. But I, I like that patron C also didn't be like, that's unusual or that's rare. Again, mezurashi, like, it's, it's one of those words that does usually sound clunky if you just translate it as that's unusual or that's rare. Uh, and then he answers, yeah, meeting to plan a class reunion. I like that. It's nice and concise and it still keeps everything there. Uh, but I don't have much to get ready. Kachuk. Jumble. Ooh, I like jumble. Again, jumble is an actual word, but it's also sound effecty. It's all it's onomatopoeic. They're all old friends, so just change sweats to jeans and I'm golden. I think I even said I'm golden in one of my little interpretations earlier, so or I said I'm good or I'm cool. Uh yeah, I, I like this. I like just change sweats to jeans and I'm golden. They're all old friends. I think that captures the vibe too. Even though in Japanese it was literally more like they, they're they all people from my hometown. It's like, they're old friends. That's, that's more the crux of it. It's not that they're from my hometown. They're like, they're old friends. So it doesn't matter. Like I'll just wear jeans and then we're good. We're golden. All right, patron D. That's rare. See, uh, I don't know. It, it, it's, it's a little odd, I think, um, for a person to say that's rare. Like, I don't know, some characters might talk like that. Not necessarily her. That's rare. Uh, again, I only say that it's a little odd just because it's it's something that comes up a lot and often doesn't really work so well to translate mezurashi, jang, or mezurashi as that's rare or that's unusual, uh, even though that's what it means. Um, errands? I don't know. That's rare. Errands? I don't know. It's a little clunky for me. I mean, if you look at the balloons... Uh, we don't have too, too much room, so it is good to keep it tighter like that. I think errands by itself is fine. 
And that's rare by itself is maybe fine, but together I think they're both a little too short. Use case response, we're meeting to plan for our elementary school reunion. Ka-chick. Nice sound effect. <laughs> Use case thoughts, I say get ready. I like how get ready is in quotes. I think that really cl clears it up. <laughs> sound effects, sloppy. <laughs> maybe just slop. Again, because it's more sound effecty and less a word. Um, use case thoughts. I'm just seeing some old friends. Good choice there. Again, like you don't have to literally say they're old people from my old hometown. They're friends. I'll throw on some jeans, I guess. I like I guess because it makes it very casual. That is the vibe. Okay, let's go to the next page. He says, well, he thinks, sate to. That's just like a, alrighty then. Okay, what's next sort of thing. And then he's saying in very small text that's handwritten, basho wa. Um, so basho is literally place, but I would translate that as the address. So, okay, what's the address? Dot, dot, dot. Ton, 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 the sound effect of his sister walking down the stairs in her house shoes, which make floppy noises when you walk downstairs. Um, and then she says, Eh, oni chan, sono kakko de iku no? It's like, whoa, dude, are you really going dressed like that? And then he says, so da ke do? With a little question mark at the end. So it's in English, we'd be like, yeah, why? <laughs> or, or we'd just be like, yeah, <laughs> with a little question mark at the end. But it's kind of more like, yeah, why are you asking? That's kind of more the vibe. And then she says, saki to naji fuku jam. It's like, you're, you're wearing the same, it's like, dude, that's kind of what the jan does. It's like, dude, you're wearing the same clothes you were wearing earlier. It's like, dude, you haven't changed. And then pechi is like, pechi pechi is like a slapping sound effect. So he's slapping his jeans and he says, chigau daro, jipan haiteru daro, hora. So he's like, it's like, um, no, I'm wearing jeans. See? <laughs> okay, let's see how the patrons translated that. Patron A, now then, where was it? Tap, tap, tap. Huh? Yusuke, you're going out like that? Again, italics would, would really help. You're going out like that? Uh, yeah, so what? Yeah, that's good for that vibe of like, nan da It's like, yeah, so what? You're wearing the same clothes as before. Pat, pat. No, I'm not. Look, I put on jeans. <laughs> I like, look, I put on jeans. So this is a reminder. Um, even though it ends with hora in Japanese, sometimes you want to flip-flop that. Also, saki to naji fuku jan. Notice how I expressed when I was interpreting this. I added the jan kind of it, at the beginning as dude. Like you can often... Uh, all those sentence enders that give a character personality like yo or daze or wa or jang, um, you can move all of those to the beginning of the sentence as things like whoa or ooh or dude. And it, it, gives, it gives you that characterization and that feeling. And you can also do that with things like hora at the very end of your sentence. Um, especially if it's not voiced, like manga is not voice acted, you can move that to the beginning where it's actually a little more natural in English. Look, I put on some jeans. I really like that. Okay, patron B. All right, it's at dot dot dot. Mm, I, I think it's not quite so clear to be like it's at dot dot dot. I think a little more explicit like where is it or the address. Um, what did patron A do? Where was it? Yeah, where was it is a little clearer and it's not that many more characters. I understand it's a very small, like <laughs> your poor letterer has to write that in by hand. Um, I don't know, there's enough whiteness in the background. It's probably not too hard to retouch that and get that in there. Um, but yeah, I think it will be a little clearer because it's at, like we don't really know what he's talking about unless we've seen it in Japanese. Yusuke. You're going out looking like that? There you go, see? The italics really bring that in. Yeah, what's wrong? Mm, I like that for non dakedo question mark. Yeah, what's wrong? It's the same outfit from before, pat pat. No, it's not. I put on some jeans, see? Yeah, see, putting the C there without a question mark even, it, it doesn't work as well. I like, look, I put on some jeans. I put on some jeans. See? With a question mark would probably work better than an exclamation points. I put on some jeans. See? <laughs> like, I can't really even voice act that. It makes more sense with a question mark if you're going to put C at the end. Uh, patron C. <laughs> Speaking of C. All right. Um, there we go. 
where were we meeting again? Yeah, that's a lot of words for a little spot, but again, I, I think that's okay for your letterer to fit that in there. If a letterer happens to be watching this video, you can sound off in the comments and say how easy or how difficult would it be to fit all those words in. Again, I, I suspect it shouldn't be too hard. It's, it's literally just white background with like a little double line. It, it's not too, too much that you would have to retouch to fit in all those words. Where were we meeting again? That's a good translation for Bashoa. Tomp, tomp, tomp. I like that. It's close to the Japanese sound effect and it still does the, uh, does the job. Wait, are you really leaving the house like that? <laughs> so I don't like how it was split up there. Wait, are you really? leaving the house like that. Yeah, if, if I envision that in the in the actual panel lettered, to me, it just, it looks weird as a reader to me if the balloons don't really stand on their own. Wait, are you really is very hanging and then leaving the house like that. I, I prefer, I personally prefer it if they kind of stand on their own. Like what did patrons A and B did? I think I remember they, yeah. Huh, Yusuke, you're going out like that? And then Yusuke. You're going out looking like that. Like, I, I, I think that just works better as a reader. Yes, it, the characters are more evenly um, divided the way Patron C did it. Like if you look at the two balloons, um, they, they kind of take up the same space. But I just think as a reader, it works better uh, if each balloon stands on its own. Uh, MC answers, uh, yeah, <laughs> I like that. Um, then she says, but that's your houseware. Slap, slap. No, it's not. I put on jeans. See, yeah, see, this works a lot better. If if you put the C at the end as a question, as its own thing, then it, it reads a lot better. I put on jeans. See? That's a lot more natural uh, to say. But that's your houseware. It it makes sense to, to translate it that way because we were talking earlier about loungewear and houseware and stuff. So that works, even though that's not literally what she was saying in Japanese. So I dig it. Um, patron D. Good to go. The address is dot, dot, dot. <laughs> yeah, it works. Good to go is not what sateto is really at all. But sateto, again, it's kind of a filler. It's like eto almost. It, it doesn't really mean much of anything. It's like, oh, righty then. Okay. Yeah, it's just like you're saying something under your breath um, to signal that you're gonna do something else, <laughs> basically, is what sateto is. So you kind of can just fill anything in, and good to go works in this case. Uh, the address is tip, tip, tip. That's kind of cool for ton, ton, ton. Uh, Yusuke, you're going dressed like that? Ita again, I like the italics. Um, yes. <laughs> uh, those are. I think I kind of like the yes instead of um, yeah. Um, yeah is a little more like sarcastic. Um, yeah, what what of it versus um, yes. <laughs> I think um, yeah probably captures the spirit a little more for me than yes, but I personally think yes is funnier. Um, those are the same sweats from earlier. I like that for those are the same clothes from earlier. I don't know though. Yeah, she wouldn't have been like staring right at his jeans and been like, those are the same sweats from earlier. It's more like you you look exact but you're wearing the same clothes and then she says no i'm not look i changed into jeans so i think it is a little odd maybe um especially since she is so fashion savvy and conscious that she'd be like staring right at him and be like you're wearing the same sweats okay and then she says g <laughs> uh this is the sound effect that's going on as she's staring at him g is a staring sound effect and she says onichan ga ii nara so if you're okay with it, then I don't really care. But next page, it's like, you're, aren't you going to, you know, meet up uh, to discuss your elementary school reunion? Or, you know, a less wordy way of saying that is, aren't you meeting up with old elementary school friends? That's kind of the crux of it. She's like, aren't you going to meet up with old with old friends you haven't seen in a while? And maybe you want to make a good impression. That's kind of what she's getting at here. Patron A, if you don't mind, stare, then I guess it's fine. But you said this was a meeting for your class reunion, right? Yep, I like that all fine and to the point. If you don't mind, stare. Yeah, and you don't have to translate G as stare. Just, it, it doesn't matter if you do, it's fine if you do, but you don't have to. Sometimes you can get creative with G. Patron B, 
Well, looking that way is fine if you're at home. It's like, if, if you're okay with it, then I am too, is more the vibe. And well, looking that way is fine if you're at home is a bit wordy. I don't understand this choice. Um, it's not like, it's not something she wouldn't say in this, in this scenario. So I don't, I wouldn't say it's like wrong, wrong, but I feel like it's a lot of unnecessary added words. Well, looking that way is fine if you're at home, like you always are. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's a lot of unnecessary added words. <laughs> It's, it's still what she's saying, generally, but yeah, I think there's a tighter, shorter way to word that. But you're going to a class reunion. Yeah, I like that. That's getting to the crux of it. You're going to a class reunion. Um, I mean, again, this isn't exactly like the reunion reunion. It's more like a meeting for the reunion. Uh, but the point is, and, and she's going to go into this in the next line of dialogue that, you know, hey, you're seeing old friends that you haven't seen in a while. You want to look good. All right, patron C, if you say so, concern, not like I care. So see, patron C translated G as concern. Uh, that's something you can do for something like G. She is staring at him in concern. And again, I don't always like sound effects translated as words, but with something like G, G sometimes is used as a word. Like Japanese people will like look at you and say G. <laughs> So it, it has a lot more nuance to it than just it's a staring sound effect. It's more like I am staring at you at concern. Um, I'm waiting for you to say something. It could even be something like say something if you're just staring at someone and going gee. Um, so yeah, it was not that big of an extrapolation to get concern from G. Uh, not like I care. You said you're meeting to plan a class reunion. I think that would be a stronger connection if it's not like I care, but you said you're planning to plan, you're meeting to plan a class reunion. I think a but would just connect those two lines a little better. You said you're meeting to plan a class reunion. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, D, patron D. I mean, if you're really okay with that, then I guess it's fine. But yeah, that's the vibe. Stare. You said it's a meeting about your school reunion, right? Okay, yeah, that's it. No complaints or extra thoughts there. So now she elaborates. Hisashiburi no tomodachi ni aunda shi. There's that she again. Konbini ikun jinain da kara mo chotto nanka. And then he says, mo chotto te nanda yo. Ore wa nani kitatte daitai onaji nanda yo. Okay, so um, she's saying, Sashiburi no tomodachi ni aunda shi. It's like, well, hey, you're, you're meeting old friends that you haven't seen in a while, for one thing, <laughs> the dashi. Konbini ikun jinain da kara. You're not going to 7 Eleven, like, or a convenience store. Um, again, I think specificity uh, makes. Specificity is great for comedy in particular. Um, it's really, it's funnier if you say, you're not going to Walgreens. <laughs> Like, it's funnier to say that than you're not going to the convenience store. It, it, it's a lot funnier if, you're, funnier if you're specific. Now, of course, for copyright reasons, you can't necessarily, like, say 7-Eleven specifically. Uh, you often have to go with something more generic like a convenience store, which is unfortunate because it hurts comedy. But anyway, you're not going to convenience store. So, I don't know, you could maybe dress a little more... And then he goes, dress a little more what? It's like, no matter what I wear, I'm, it's pretty much the same. Like, it's all the same to me. All my clothes are the same. You haven't seen these guys in a while. I like that. It's not a trip to the store, so why not wear something a little more... More what exactly? It doesn't matter what I wear. I think more what exactly, italics. He's kind of snapping at her. And, and if you look at him, he has the sweat mark uh, on his face and he's kind of cutting her off. I think a little italic in there uh, would make that stronger and more his tone. I like it's not a trip to the store instead of a convenience store. Because again, fewer words. And we, I don't know, I don't ever really say convenience store. <laughs> I say the store. I do. I say the store. If I'm going to, to Safeway or to Winco or something else, I'm going to the store. Uh, but yeah, I, I never say, like, if I'm going to Bartell, I'm never like, I'm going to the convenience store. <laughs> I say, I'm going to Bartell, or I'm going to Walgreens. Something about convenience store, I just, I never say it. Um, in Japanese, it's not at all unnatural to say konbini, but, like, in English, I don't know, for me, just convenience store sounds very unnatural. So I like store. <laughs> Why not? 
not wear something a little more? I like why not wear something a little more dot dot dot. More what exactly if you'd italicize the what. It doesn't matter what I wear. I like that for everything's the same no matter what I wear. It's just it doesn't matter what I wear. I don't know though actually, mm, backtracking. <laughs> it's like no matter what I wear it's all the same. Uh, it's all the same what I wear. And he's not exactly saying it doesn't matter what I wear. It's more like no matter what I wear, like the outcome is the same. Uh, there's a little more to it than it doesn't matter what I wear. You're going to see some old friends. It's not like you're going to the store. So you got a, what are you getting at? Yeah, that's another way of phrasing that. You don't have to repeat what the former character was saying with a question mark. You can just, what are you getting at? Or get to the point. Uh, it's the same no matter what I wear. Yeah, that's a little more what the meaning is. Let's see what patron C did. I look pretty much the same no matter what I put on. That that also captures the vibe. It doesn't matter what I wear. All my clothes are the same from patron D. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, patron C. Uh, blah, blah, blah. If you haven't seen them in a while, how come you're dressed like you're going to run a quick errand? How come you're dressed like you're going to run a quick errand? What do you mean? So patron C like also just uh, made it more explicit in general. Um, instead of being like, you gotta be more, more what? Patron C was just like, how come you're dressed like you're going to run a quick errand? What do you mean? I look pretty much the same no matter what I put on. It wasn't quite the tone or the vibe of the Japanese, but it's still doing the job. Like in the Japanese, she's kind of, she's kind of trying to be a little more diplomatic and helping, helping guide him to the answer himself. And she's being a little more polite and tactful. It's like, She's like, you're not going to the convenience store. So, you know, you gotta dress a little more. And he's like, more what? <laughs> and then he sighs in the next frame. He's like, ah. it's like, it doesn't matter what I wear. It's like, you know, I'm the same no matter what I wear. It doesn't matter. So I think it's missing some of that tone of her, like maybe kind of trying to be tactful and then him snapping at her. Uh, patron D... This isn't just a trip to the store. You're meeting friends you haven't seen in five years. Shouldn't you like, shouldn't I what? Again, if it had been italicized, shouldn't I what? It doesn't matter what I wear. All my clothes are the same. All my clothes are the same is kind of the vibe too. It doesn't matter what I wear because all my clothes are the same. And notice how patron D flip-flopped the order. This isn't a, just a trip to the store. You're meeting friends you haven't seen in years. Shouldn't you like, so instead of in the Japanese, it was the reverse of that. It was, you're seeing friends you haven't seen in years. You're not going to the store. Shouldn't you dress a little more? You can, you can rework things like that. If you think the emphasis would work better in a different order. This isn't just a trip to the store. You're meeting friends you haven't seen in years. Shouldn't you like, shouldn't I what? <laughs> yeah, that captures the tone. Okay, next panel. She says, Sonna koto wa zenzen nai hazu. <laughs> and then kyoro, kyoro. She's like kind of glancing, um, kind of like, well, you see exactly what she's doing in the panel. She's like moving around, darting around very quickly and glancing at him from various different angles. So he's saying like, well, it doesn't matter what I wear. All my, all my clothes are the same. And then she says, Sonna koto wa, that's dot, 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 completely not true. <laughs> Um, and then he says, Sharakusai. So Sharakusai, you can have a lot of fun with this. Um, in, in British English, enough of your lip. <laughs> or like, none of your cheek. <laughs> or it's like, oh, shut up, miss know-it-all kind of thing. Uh, shut up, smart ass, uh, that kind of thing. And then the next panel, ore wa mukashi na... Jimmy. So usually I see osa na na jimi, but mukashi na jimi, basically old friends. Uh, to kigane naku inshoku de? What? How the hell do I pronounce this in this context? Okay, so in English this means I want, I just want to, um, without hesitation, kigane naku, freely, care freely. Um, have food and drink uh, and fun with my old friends. That that's all I care about. That's what this means. I don't know how you pronounce this inshoku. In is is it inshoku in this context? Inshokute. That's very odd. <laughs> I guess maybe inshoku is a verb. Inshokuru. Maybe it's like a slangy thing. So I think it's pronounced inshokute, but I don't know. That's very odd. Inshoku is eating and drinking. 
basically he wants to eat and drink and have fun, make merry with his old friends uh, without being judged by her basically is the vibe here. And that's all I want. Okay, how did our patrons translate this? Better than me, I hope. We finished with, it doesn't matter what I wear. And then she says, that's not totally true. Fwip, fwip. I like fwip, fwip for Kyoto Kyoto. Lay off the snark. That's good for Sharakusai. I don't need to get all uptight about enjoying a meal with old friends. Hmm. I don't need to get all uptight about enjoying a meal with old friends. Yeah, instead of I want to be carefree and enjoy a meal, he, um, patron A kind of uh, reversed that so that I don't need to be uptight about, about going out with my friends. It's like, I don't need to dress up. <laughs> um, I don't need to be all uptight and dress up. I'm, I'm just going to go out having fun with my friends. Like, leave me alone. All right, that works. Um, patron B, but it shouldn't have to be that way. Shift, 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 shift works pretty well too. Just knock it off. That works too for Shadakusai. I just want to go out and have fun with some old friends, okay? This is fine. Ooh, I really like that. That really captures the tone and the vibe. It's so much less clunky than my very fumbled interpretation earlier when I was being overly literal. Yeah, I just want to go out and have fun with some old friends, okay? This is fine. Like, oh man, that totally rolls off the tongue and it's the vibe. Okay, I don't know about, but it shouldn't pause have to be that way. I mean, yeah, in her heart of hearts, she is kind of thinking that, but it shouldn't have to be that way. Y you could be so much more. You could dress up. But it's more like, um, I think you and I both know that's not true. I think that's kind of more the vibe here, more the tone, rather than it shouldn't have to be. It shouldn't have to be that way is a little more like sad, <laughs> kind of melancholy. Uh, patron C, I don't think that's true. <laughs> I like that, okay? Check, check. Check, check works too. Kyoto, Kyoto, she's, she's like darting around checking him over and looking at him. So again, you could do sound effects like flip, flip to show that she's like moving around, darting around looking at him. You could also use a word like check, check to be like, oh, I'm checking over you. I, I personally prefer flip, flip because it just kind of shows how annoying she's being, like flipping to either side of him. And then he says, leave me alone already. I really like that for Sharakusai. The vibe, man. If you just translated that as impertinent, <laughs> like that's what it literally is in Japanese. Like it, not the vibe. Leave me alone already. I like that. My friends don't care what I look like. We're just grabbing a bite. This is fine. I like again. I like this is fine. I prefer patron B making this is fine its own sentence. It just really punctuates that nicely. <laughs> and then there's a note from patron C. Dear, dear reader, it was not fine. Dog sitting at table with fire behind it. <laughs> It's true. Spoilers. If you want to know what happens, you have to read uh, the rest of it on Bookwalker. Um, patron D. Now I'm not sure that, wait, now I'm sure that's not true. I think actually it would be more natural if it's, now I'm not sure that's true. Now I'm sure that's not true. Hmm. Now I'm sure that's not true. Okay. Yeah. I like that because it could be, now I'm sure that's true, but she's, you know, doing a switcheroo, being like, now I'm sure that's not true. Pace, pace, I like pace, pace. Out of my face, I like that, because she is in his face. Uh, as long as I can relax and have a nice meal with some old friends, isn't that enough? I kind of like, isn't that enough? It's not really the vibe in Japanese though, if I'm being honest. It's like, sore de in da yo. Yeah, in Japanese, he's more being kind of defiant um, more like, I'm just gonna have a meal with my friends, dude. And not necessarily like asking her. He here's my issue with this. And it's not like an issue. I don't think this is wrong. I like this translation. It's just, this is a case where if this were voice acted, it would probably need to be translated differently. Because if it were voice acted in Japanese, you, you would hear that he's not really ending it with like a question. Sore de in da yo is kind of how it would end in Japanese. So if you translated that, isn't that enough? It would be a little dissonant, uh, you know, to end it with a question. That's just another thing to keep in mind. That's another way of how manga and anime translations are different. It's how like unvoice acted game translations versus voice acted game translations are gonna be a little different as well. Uh, you have to keep those kinds of things in mind. But that's the cool thing about manga is that when needed and when effective, you can do things like 
finish things in a question that weren't originally necessarily a question, like the voice was not rising in inflection, but it still captures the vibe to make it a question. Okay, so um, yeah, dear reader, it was not fine. He went to the class reunion meeting and his friends were all dressed so much more fashionably than he was and he felt really embarrassed. And that was sort of the inspiration that gets him interested in improving his fashion and he asks his sister for help. And that's kind of what the rest of the series is about. Anyway, if you if you want to know more about the details yourself, go read it in Japanese on Bookwalker. <laughs> the exchange rate is crazy right now, so if you have dollars uh, and you want to buy the manga in yen, you will save a lot of money right now because of the exchange rate. But if you're like me and you're paid in yen sometimes to translate and you have to pay your bills in dollars, you're kind of screwed. Um, anyway, on that note, uh, thank you for sitting through this rambly video. Anyway, thank you to all the patrons, uh, not just the $5 patrons, but all the ones who support this channel. And I want to give a special thanks to Data Fox, Greg, Henry Roaming, Jacob Bell, Lay Fam, Alexei, Cody Spence, Roel, Velos, Brent, Dave, Matt Mack, and Tony Hoyt. 